Greetings! After seeing this video on latest dev livestream. So look at that, that's a ship. Okay. Oh no, he's using a shield cell. Ouch. <laughs> now he's got no shield. That's actually pretty sad. <laughs> Looks scary, I know. So after seeing this, I had a question. How much time exactly does shield cell bank take to charge your shields? Because I tried to Google and couldn't find exact data. I mean, we all know that it takes 5 seconds before shield cell kicks in. And during those 5 seconds your ship will overheat. But how many seconds it takes for shield cell to actually charge your shields? And you know what that means. That means one more video from me. But that all got me thinking about when actually your shields are vulnerable. Because shield charging animation starts when you press shield cell bank button. So basically 5 seconds before shields are actually charging also should count. That is a lot of time. To know that for sure we'll have to wait till engineers are out. But I think shields are vulnerable the second you see enemy charging shields. So let's time it. And thanks to Mr. Forbes who unwillingly provided me his ship. We can see exactly how much time we can use feedback cascade. It's around 8.2 seconds. And now tell me what you think. Is it enough time to fire once to get enemy shields down even if they are at 80, 90, even 100%? Maybe he misclicked <laughs> shield cell bank. Now it would be very huge mistake in combat. So if that's true and devs won't change it, I think... Shield cell banks in open will be very risky business. Fly safe, commanders.